Well, this is an unintended find. Welcome back, Anonymous Biker USA. First time here, hit the thumbs up, smack that subscribe button. Here we are in the 2023 Royal Enfield Himalayan. Why this is the best small budget ADV bike. And you're looking at it right here. If you're in the market for an ADV off-road, and you're looking for something small, and something that doesn't break the bank, Himalayan is your answer. You're probably looking at your KLR 650, your Honda 300, maybe you're looking at a DR 400. All right, here we go. But this Himalayan is the answer. First thing that smacks you in the face with this, price. Brand new, 5,500 USD. That's not out the door, that's pre-tax. And you're gonna throw some of your gadgets and doodads on so you all know where you'll be depending on what you get. But, oh, look at this road. For 5,500 bucks, you can't beat it. I think the base KLR is 5,800. But, if you're looking for these kind of roads and what we're about to do on the gravel up ahead where I'm going to show you the kit the Royal Enfield Himalayan is the absolute best small value ADV there is and we've talked about it before is it fast nope but you know where it is fast everywhere you need it to be on these roads speed limit easy plus Speed limit on these roads is usually 45, you can handle 60, no problem. Dirt roads, gravel, you're not going fast anyway, right? So that 25 to 40, that's this thing's sweet spot and it's a home run. Royal Enfield's been around since 1901, so this actually is the longest continuous producing motorcycle company there is, the Royal Enfield. And you guys have seen that the Himalayan has gone through torture in India. It runs on horrible roads, horrible fuel, minimal maintenance, and every time it just starts up and goes. So if you take care of your bike and you get a little better fuel, even 87, run it on regular, which is way better than India has, imagine how better this bike will perform for you. Some people do a stage one, I don't need it. Some people change the seat, stock's fine for me. So out of the box, this bike, small ADV, best value, A numero uno. All right, so we're looking for Old Bucktown Road, which is nine and a half miles up, which should take us to the uh, trail that I'm looking for, and we'll show you what this thing does off-road. Then we'll do a little walk around. Now everybody's complaint on this bike is highway speeds, it's not fast enough A to B. So, you know, if you get the GS or the Pan America or the Africa Twin or the bigger adventure bikes, KTM Duke 1290, right? Yeah, you can do 100 miles an hour on the highway, no problem. But when you get in the dirt, I find, and this is just my novice opinion, it's much smaller it's much easier. Oh, look at this. We got a little bridge here. George Washington Mooney Memorial Bridge. There we go. What do we got here? We got Mooney's Country Store. This deserves a picture. out Miller's Country Store. Right by the creek. It's order machine out of order.
pretty interesting. So where are we going here on this GPS? Stover Trail. Road. All right, so where were we? Yeah, the, the Himalayan. 411 cc's. You know, comes with all your cool analog dash. Comes with a gas gauge, five speed. And one really critical thing that this bike comes with that I like is the disengageable rear ABS for when you're riding in the dirt. I think that's really, really, really important. And it helps control your bike tremendously when you're off road. So I gotta find the Loman Road. Is it an actual road? Uh, maybe. <laughs> this is gravel too? Yes, it is. Alrighty. Alright, so we're, we're taking trails to get to trails. How we like that? And you know what? So if that's the case... Let's, uh... Let's get that ABS off. Alright, so we got a trail to get to a trail. Now, perfect example, right, right on cue. Here we are. Why the Himalayan is a perfect small ADV budget bike. GPS said take this road. Well, look, it's gravel stone. Can you go up this with the big ADV bikes? Absolutely. But I have no idea where this goes, which is part of the adventure. And, oh yeah, look at that. And because, look, oh yeah, another bump. The travel on this thing is awesome. Uh, ground clearance is pretty good. But because it's small, it's, oh, here we go. Wow, this is crazy. Because it's small, it's super easy to manage. You know, it's not lightweight. It's like 500 pounds. 480 something like that but it's so easy to ride it's balanced well and the center of gravity is low and I mean it's just such a fun bike and the seat height is pretty low too so you know unlike the KLR which is very tall if you do need to put a foot down where you get in a jam and I don't mean break your ankle put your foot down I mean really put your foot down to help you get over an obstacle or guide you you can do that and I mean, this is, if, if you're looking to get the, the Himalayan for this kind of fun, you cannot get a better deal at all. And as people live back on these roads, wow, talk about private, holy cow. I mean, this is amazing. No, I'm, I'm guessing this comes back out again on a uh, a paved road, but like this is exactly what what this bike is for. This none of this is planned, and this just shows off the versatility of the Himalayan and exactly why you want to get this bike if you're in the market. I mean, you can do it with the other ones, sure, but you know the other thing, and it's not mentioned a lot. 
this is 5500 bucks right okay so if something happens to it it gets banged up it gets damaged so what I mean, oh, slow down, slow down. Oh, woo, coming out onto a big road. Yikes. <laughs> How about these apples? All right. That was pretty cool. But again, here we go, right? It's an example of why we got it. But, you know, if you drop it or it gets banged up, I mean, it, it, it's not $20,000. You're not, oh my God, what's going to happen to it? I mean, it gets banged up, it gets banged up. I mean, you may feel that way about a bigger, expensive ADV, but I kind of don't think you do. And I know that's what crash guards are for. That's what this is for. Stuff still happens. The ground isn't always flat when you crash. You rocks, obstacles, bars get bent, things happen. So I'm just saying the parts and things are a lot cheaper to fix on this than they are on others. Nothing against those bikes, it's just cost of ownership, right? Super cheap here. But you change the oil and go. Alright, so if you're on the fence and you're looking at, I mean I heard the Honda, the 300 is really good off-road, but it doesn't handle so well on-road, and this is the perfect tweener. Um, KLR handles very good on-road and off-road. It's just very tall, a little top-heavy, so that's something to think about. Uh, I liked this because it was a little more compact, so super easy and manageable to handle on and off-road, and the fact that it had the disengageable rear ABS. Uh, the Kawasaki, to my knowledge, you cannot disable that ABS. I'm sure there's some kind of workaround that somebody does, but I'm just saying in general, the average layperson rider, you can't do that. Alright, so we're five miles from another real trail that I was actually looking for before I got on those other two trails getting to here. So it's a, a perfect video that is just random to show you the versatility of the Himalayan and how much fun it is. We're going to head up that way, which is going to be Springer Mountain and it's very steep, but if you're looking at the Himalayan, right, I know we've talked about it before, but let's go over it. 2023, uh, I mean, for the money and the value, and I had it, you know, I got the uh, Panniers, I have the uh, the Givy Alaska Trekker, I don't have those on now, but they are good, and these actually help for crash protection too. The three-point mounted Givy crash bar, three-point mount is very important, gives you more stability and rigidity instead of the two. These aftermarket little cheap Amazon packs that fit right on these rails perfectly. Great for day trips. 21 inch front wheel, 17 back. Um, yeah, I mean, and even a little luggage rack if you need it. But I put the hand guards on. The headlight is so-so, but I don't ride this at night. Uh, the windscreen provides me enough protection for what I need. You know, really, the small ADV market for the money, it really is awesome. Center stand comes standard. Um, so let's go see what else it can do. We'll go up this mountain road here. So you have your trip A, trip B, your little, you know, maintenance reminder, uh, temperature, time, analog, and then your tack, your gear indicator. Uh, and then your little ABS light, and it also has a fuel light, so... Alright, so, Mount Pleasant Baptist Church. Alright, now we're gonna head right on up. <laughs> right out of the gate! I mean, this is... I don't know how to find this. So this is Blue Ridge Wildlife Management Area. So here we go. Oh, you know what I did? I turned the bike off. So the the uh, ABS re-engaged like I told you guys. So let's go back to neutral real quick. And then shut it back off. 1 1000, 2 1000, 3 1000, 4 1000, 5. 
Now this is the trail I was looking for. Never been on it. Uh, but it's kind of like the other roads we just got off of, right? So far. I just know this is actually a trail, not a driveway. So... I mean, this is Himalayan's performance at its best. Is right, right on all this stuff, and much worse it can handle. All comes down to your skill level. But if you're looking to get an entry, this handles it all. If you're even advanced, you can take this to places you probably can't take those big heavy bikes for sure. So yeah, it's a pretty cool trail. Narrow. Oh, that's a sharp turn. Woo, that's a sharp turn. I gotta slow it down there. And just do a little standing up. And the sun. The sun is also uh, uh Oh. Yeah, these are these are these sharp going up the mountain roads. I'm just standing the whole way now. This is a really sharp turn. So, I'm going to stand and downshift. Step and press. Alright, not shifting yet because this is another steep turn. Alright, just shifted standing. That's a that's a tricky deal, standing and shifting. And then let's get around here. Wow, this sucker's steep. <laughs> but fun, nonetheless. So, I mean, this Himalayan, this is what you want to do. I mean, how can you go wrong? I mean, the price just smacks you in the face. Now you're gonna get a lot of people in the comments, oh, it doesn't have this, it doesn't have that, it doesn't have this, it doesn't have that. And you know, that's true. That's why I'm saying it's the best small ADV bike for the price. Because as you add all that stuff, the price is gonna go up exorbitantly. It has to, right? I mean, this is your bare bones fun. I slapped the Tom Tom Rider GPS on. And uh, it, it does everything that I need it to. And I can download maps into it if I want. I know you can do that in other GPSs, but I mean, from the investment standpoint, your ROI in the ADV market, if you're just looking to have fun without breaking the bank, you gotta get a Himalayan. And if you're super skilled, like I said, you could take this sucker to the Himalayans and ride up to. 17,000 feet. Sandy from Holy Shift just did it. He can show you. Not to mention other people. Roaming Horizons with Robbo from Throttle Down Under. Alright, it's pretty cool. You know what's funny is six and a half miles in this compared to pavement is a way longer time and a much more physical time. So, it's been standing here the whole time, guys, and just kind of trekking through. I mean, there's nobody back here. You know, the other thing where I have the little um, day tripper bags on the front, they make 
one gallon gas tanks or one gallon gas cans rather so you can throw those on in case you're back here in these areas and you didn't fuel up or there's no fuel uh, and you can easily find another gas station with that extra gallon so now if you're gonna slam me in the comments about what this bike doesn't do and it's not fast enough and not enough power I don't know why you clicked on the video because you're not buying the bike anyway this is for people that are thinking about getting into the ADV or they want a smaller secondary ADV or they're super skilled and they want something manageable easy that you can just rip around for a good price this is the answer so highly 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 recommend the 2023 Royal Enfield Himalayan keep in mind people ride these to Alaska all the time so you know you can putz along at 65 on the interstate and get there just gonna take you a little longer so that's totally up to you and you know you've also seen the videos of people riding these in the Himalayas or in those crazy single lane I don't even want to call them roads cliffs uh, and these things handle like a champ what is this Garnet branch okay it's telling me to go down here oh boy here we go again another discovery right Whoa, what is going on here okay which one is the driveway and which one is the road <laughs> yeah th this isn't the trail I was looking for either but <sighs> all right I'll, I'll take it if again indeed it is a trail right or, or not a private road uh, okay it's a road wow how crazy is this with a stream this is awesome all demonstrating why the Himalayan is fun you know another thing is if you're not the best of skilled riders you actually do a little better watch out squirrel you do a little better on this bike um, because even if you you forget what gear you're in it's so tractor like this thing will just whatever gear you're in it'll just keep motoring on up the hill whoa look how steep this is holy cannoli look at this oh climbing whoa almost went sideways there Yep, as steep as oh, <laughs> as steep as it was up. Oh, we're sliding down sideways on this. You, let's stand up a little here. Oh, you hear that? Oh, that whole back tire is just going. Oh, that's where better tires come in handy. And yeah, I got the stock tires on still because there's only 1,300 miles on the bike, but newer tires may help that get a little more bite. But maybe not because that was really steep. But in any event, the Himalayan, pure joy, pure fun. Wow, oh, man, look at this road. This is better than a trail. Well, I mean, it is a trail, right? Ah, oh, dead end. <laughs> All righty then. Alright, so I guess we're turning around. Woo! Alright, using that rear wheel, sliding it. Hee <laughs> I mean, Hemi's got plenty of speed for me back here. So 
just a little, a little recap. What? Oh, wow, that was huge. Why is it the best small ADV? Number one is price. Number two, it's got a nice amount of travel. Number three, I like the looks, the styling. I think it's really cool looking. Great dashboard. Has um, the ability to disengage the rear ABS. 21 inch front wheel, 17 inch rear. Um, you know, I think it's a four and a half gallon tank, which if you ride conservatively, like I said, some people say they get 70, 75 miles a gallon. I mean, you know, you throw your hand guards on, you throw your engine guards on, and if you're just doing day trips, you get these little cheap Amazon bags, and I mean, you are set to have adventures. So, I'm sure, oh, look at this view, holy smokes, are you kidding me? Whoa, we gotta stop here. Wow. Oh, this is sand. Oh, and this is not gonna... Alright, so what we gotta do... The other thing... <laughs> Come on, there we go. Um, a lot of times what you gotta do when you're back here... It's hard to park these suckers. I bring a little kickstand pad with me, but... That was a rookie mistake, I just stalled it. Alright, this is like pure sand. I bring a little hockey puck kickstand with me. Man, look at this, this is all sand, see this? This sand is crap to ride in. Um, but hold on. Check this out. Whoa. I don't even know if this is a trail. Wow. Are you kidding? Let's see if we can get over here. Wow, this is pretty steep. Got the Indy Ridge boots. Holy cow. But we gotta get right to this here. Here we go. Wow. Handling these little curves on these country roads with a 21 inch front wheel and a 70 30 tire is absolutely no problem. And you can hear we're climbing some pretty good elevation, so I'm gonna go down to the third gear. Um, that guy had a KLR right there. You know, I'm third gear, I'm climbing, what, 45 miles an hour, which is exactly what the speed limit is anyway, so right around five and a half thousand RPMs. And you know, that's when you get to the top of the RPMs, you get a little vibey in the seat. But, you know, somebody in the comments said before when I said the brakes are, you know, they're, they're okay, that he put a Harley Davidson Street 750 caliper on the front and it saved his problem saved his issue and the brakes were much more responsive so you know that's an idea if uh if you're open to it no better place to stop this because i want to go ride those roads with no cameras and just have some fun so the 2023 royal enfield himalayan 100 percent two thumbs up